Where did this lot come from then? Bank loan. My autograph in exchange for a wad of cash. Yeah? Not bad for a morning's work, eh? Games console, yeah? Gaming's not just for spotty geeks and people with no social skills, you know. Have you got any games with it or what? Uh huh. In the other bag? Yesterday, this lot, it don't grow on trees, you know. Okay, this has got to be some sort of mistake. The credit company gave me a list of transactions I phoned the online shop that took for a 32 inch television set. Take a guess at the delivery address. Well, don't look at me because I've only just got back myself. What? <sighs> Leopard and spots, my young lady, yeah. I know exactly who's had my plastic away. Guess again, Sherlock, because I really have got no idea what you're talking about. Well, you won't mind turfing out your pockets, will you? Why me? Both of you. Go on. Fine. Empty. Empty. Nothing. I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation Empty. for all this. Nothing. <gasps> Listen, right, I swear I do not know how that got there. After I everything that I've done for you. She set me up. She must have done. It like I'd go and buy a games console and that thing. <laughs> Peggy, I'm really sorry. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't call the police. Because we're Mitchells, we never call the old bill. There's always a first time. I gave you a home. I treated you like family. And this is the way you pay me. Peggy, come on, he's just a kid. He's lost his dad. Look, I didn't, all right? I swear. Oh, get out of it. Bill, please. Peggy, wait up. Shame. Betraying Billy's trust. It's gonna be tough living under the same roof, isn't it? Mental. Congratulations. You're not quite as stupid as you look. 